Hello, everyone. Good morning, afternoon, or evening. Um, my name is Marco Ruiz. I'm one of the um, hematologists, oncologists at uh, Miami Cancer Institute here in Miami, Florida. I'm the chief of HIV oncology and also the associate director for Melina Hematology, a bone marrow transplant program at uh, Miami Cancer Institute. Uh, I really want to thank the organizers at Grace uh, um, for the opportunity to talk to you briefly about three different topics. So we're gonna spend about 15 minutes in, in total to discuss about three different topics. Uh, uh, the first topic that we're gonna discuss is gonna be cancer care in HIV infected patients. This is one of the um, sort of the um, clinics uh, that I have here, uh, a program that we have developed here at MCI, Miami Cancer Institute. The second topic we're gonna be talking about is the cancer care in geriatric or senior patients which is another uh, program that also we have developed here at Miami Cancer Institute. And the third topic, it will be related to um, how to close the gap in terms of cancer care for ethnic minorities. So uh, we're gonna start with cancer care in HIV infected patients. Next slide, please. Basically the importance of this topic uh, relies on the fact that this is what we're tend to see uh, with, the, um, with the new treatments that are, have been um, uh, developed for HIV infected individuals. Uh, our population of HIV infected patients is growing, uh, living longer, and as such, they tend to develop more of what we call non ACE defining cancers. So in, in terms of epidemiology, there is a big increase in, term, in, in terms of the number of patients who are affected by cancer and also who are affected by the HIV infection. One of the main issues that we're facing at this particular point is the fact that many patients do not get treatments that they that are indicating, and this is for many reasons. Number one, they don't get to centers that have the expertise uh, of HIV cancer care. Uh, sometimes they are in not a good functional status uh, that allow them to go to these particular centers, or they usually get into the hospitals in a very sick state and then as such not able to get some treatments. Some of these patients don't even know that they are HIV infected and as such, they never receive any kind of treatments. Um, among other conditions or among other causes um, or other characteristics of these conditions, uh, patients, um, cancers in HIV infected patients tend to be very aggressive and usually patients come at a very advanced stages uh, and usually there is a late diagnosis. Um, uh, and, and as I referred, uh, there, is an import, there is an important factor that we need to take into account and that, and that is that um, patients need to get to centers that have the expertise of treating HIV and, and cancer. And of course, within this sort of um, uh, centers, there is also a significant need to treat patients and also know about antiretroviral burn territorial therapy and cancer treatment. Next slide, please. So what are some of the strategies that we um, are uh, using and or can be used in, in terms to uh, how to improve cancer care and HIV infected patients? We definitely need to understand what the patient needs and the patient needs are many, not only from the cancer uh, care uh, perspective, but also from HIV care perspective and other um, uh, aspects such as psychological aspects, physiological aspects and physical aspects. We need to also, try, we need to understand the patterns of referral, meaning that how patients get into cancer centers, how patients get into the hospital, how patients can be transferred over from one place to another, specifically to centers of expertise. We need to understand that these are very complex cases. This is not an easy, compared to regular cancer care, patients with HIV infection have multiple more problems, multiple more comorbidities or, con or diseases, and as such, they are, are prone to develop more complications. Um, another, uh, uh, a strategy that can be used is that uh, we definitely need to disseminate information about the centers of excellence that are available in the country. And I specifically I'm talking about uh, the AIDS Malignancy Consortium, where part, part of the membership of the AIDS Malignancy Consortium here at Miami Cancer Institute. And it's important to know that the, where these centers of excellence are located at. So patients can be transferred with the centers of excellence where from places in, the, in which there are no expertise available for HIV cancer care. There is always important to remember that uh, these patients, uh, this population needs a multidisciplinary approach, very critical uh, in, in the care of these patients. And also it's important to educate not only patients, community and providers about perceptions, but also misperceptions about HIV care. Uh, <clears throat> some 
providers still may think about uh, the HIV conditions or HIV care back in 20, 25 years ago. Uh, and now we, we need to understand not only the community of patients, but also providers that the HIV is more of a chronic illness. And as such, of course, um, patients uh, live longer, uh, and of course, they may develop other complications. Also, we need to know that uh, we need to educate providers and, and community in general about the fact that just by having HIV, that doesn't mean that patients don't get or don't need HIV uh, cancer care. And the, the outcomes could be much improved if we just kind of use some of these strategies. Next slide, please. In conclusion, uh, and Tom Cook, I'm referring about HIV cancer care, and uh, we need to improve the care of, of uh, cancer care in HIV infected patients. Indeed, there is a new, um, um, uh, is a new call to, um, for cancer centers to develop um, who that have the, the capabilities of developing HIV care, also to start incorporating some of this um, expertise into this uh, care of HIV infected patients. There is a need, a big need to understand how patients get to care and how patients access to cancer centers. And it's also specifically, I'm, talking, I'm referring to uh, cancer centers that have the expertise in both HIV and cancer care, because it's very, very important that significantly improve outcomes of these populations. And of course, this is the main goal to just kind of deliver the best strategy and the best treatment for these populations. And of course, there is a significant need to educate patients in terms of not only uh, the community patients and providers, not only in terms of what HIV means, how HIV is more of a chronic illness, how a, a multidisciplinary approach is needed in the care of HIV infected patients with cancer, and how the participation, not only of community and patients, but also patient advocates and also providers can improve the care of um, cancer uh, and cancer outcomes on these populations.